Aye, testing, testing, testing. All right, folks, I welcome back to Glasgow News. Okay, so what you're looking at here is um, last week's headline in the Daily Record as it um, applies to this person here, this individual here. And his name, if you don't already know, um, is Lee Griffiths. He plays for Celtic Football Club. And the headline says here, Cops probe claims Celts lay sent flirty messages to girl 15. So they're characterising it in this um, front page story as flirty. I don't believe you should be flirty or any adult middle-aged man should be flirty with a 15 year old schoolgirl. So I was very suspicious of that terminology of that language but given it's the west of Scotland where I live and you know there is and I'm in Glasgow there is um, that's why it's Glasgow news there is the uh, Rangers Celtic thing you know and I tend not to try I, I try not to get involved with stories you know around about the football thing because you know I've got family and friends who support both teams and you don't want it stone and toes and stuff like that, you know, it's just it's just not done. But this is different. This is a different world this person has stepped into. But listen, let's get some facts, some things straight before we move on here. Because it's a serious thing that's been alleged. Alright, and it is all allegations. That must be the first thing in your mind at the moment. It's supposition, allegations, it's suspicion, right? We don't know at this stage whether that is Lee Griffith's Instagram account. We don't know. It's easy to set up a profile on Instagram as somebody, right? If they get in there first, if somebody does that, I don't know, whatever, you know. But, you know, you can set things up to look like someone else. So we've got to, we've got to take everything with a pinch of salt. We've got to not rush to judgment. Everybody deserves dealt with fairly, you are innocent until you're proven guilty. And that's what should be happening at the moment. And that's why where I left it, because it, you know, it's such a serious thing. Things can be then viewed as a smear. You start a story, you're smearing people, right? That's why they use language like flirty. It's inappropriate language, actually, for the seriousness of the allegation, in my opinion. Right, but they chose to do that, I think, for a specific reason. And that's where I left it. And then today, this is what I read. And this story is by Jane Hamilton. All right, Jane, welcome to Glasgow News. Your story made it. So, Jane writes, Lee Griffiths faces a new police probe into claims he sent inappropriate messages to a second teenage girl, and Jane uses the word inappropriate, which is appropriate, right? That is the appropriate terminology. Inappropriate messages to a second teenage girl. A second, it says, she goes on to say, a second image has been circulated across social media, appearing to be Griffiths responding to a second teenager asking for a picture and saying, you're stunning. So, the allegation is that Lee Griffith is, has done this before. And now we're getting to the stage, you're starting to think, there's no smoke without fire, as my mother used to say. You see, in life, you normally don't get caught. If you do something wrong, and we learn this as we grow up, if you do something wrong, you generally don't get caught the first time. You know? As you grow up through life, you, do, you try to get away with things. And if you get away with it, you do it again. And then, again, and then somebody might catch sight of you doing it. I'm talking about you as a kid or whatever. Whatever. And then you get caught. And you start to realise and, 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 you, and you adapt your behaviour accordingly. right? And so, when people get lazy and they do what he's alleged to have done, this is what happens. Imagine, a, you know, a high profile person doing that on Instagram. It shows you, if this is true, how naive he is, how caught up in cotton wool he is, because the population outside his house uh, don't like that. And he's inside that house. 
with that big gate there. See it? Anyway, uh, as I say, there's a picture of the guy there, and all these pictures that you'll see don't belong to me. They're property uh, of whomever uh, took the pictures, and they deserve credit for it, including this ridiculous picture, right? And what will I say about this picture? Before I go on about the story, I'm sorry I'm dragging it out a wee bit, and I'm just going on a wee bit of a, a rant, but this is the way I feel about it, right? And I think this is all connected in some way or other, right? Because this is the world we live in at the moment. If you look at this picture, the first thing you'll see is all the colours, all the whites pop. They're popping out. And that's the first indication that the picture has been doctored. All right. Um, there is no sign of any age on these people. There is no lines, normal human lines. In fact, the girl looks like a blow up doll. Right. She looks like a mannequin. Now, if we look at that picture there of him, and then you look at the real picture, he ain't no George Clooney, right? You know, you are never going to be attractive to a 15-year-old schoolgirl, no matter what's in your head. And that's the problem, right? What's in people's heads. Um, this guy, if this is true, has got... This is another problem, because there's been... Rumours that this guy has, you know, a drink problem, a weight problem, you know, a drug problem and a mental health problem, you know, and now he's got a real fucking problem, right, which might be um, trying to manipulate and groom children, you know, that is a real problem for you sitting in that house behind that big gate, and this is the arrange yourself to think, this is a parent thing, this is a population thing we don't like that we don't like people that do that and that's an understatement anyway let's move on i'm i'm, I'm rabbiting again and um, when asked by the daily record if they were aware of the second image being circulated on social media a police a mob spokeswoman confirmed we are aware of the, so the social media content and the matter is currently being assessed uh, Griffith is believed to be hiding away in his luxurious luxurious home he shares with his girlfriend while investigations are ongoing. Dental nurse Kate, Caitlin Melville, who has been in a relationship with a father of five, so father of five, that means he's got an awful lot of um, child maintenance to pay for, right, arrived back at his gated home last night after earlier posting, get this, after earlier posting clips of her gym workout on social media. So these people are obsessed with self. They are obsessed with themselves. She's posting stuff on her Instagram page in order for people to see. Look at me. Look at me. Right. And this is what the kids of today are following. Right. And basically that's it. Um... It goes on to talk about uh, the situation with the first, the first allegation, the young girl that is the Celtic supporter, and she and you know God help her, she, when questioned or when asked about it, uh, comes to his defence and says he couldn't have known my age and you know blah blah blah, you know, she's hardly hardly likely to um, say anything derogatory, I'd imagine, because you know she's trying to get on in the football world, isn't she? And she's a Celtic supporter, for goodness sake. Don't know who her father is. Is he connected with Celtic? Is he... You know, I don't know. That's all a supposition as well, but either way, that doesn't matter. That, that That's just nonsense, but um, what matters is uh, this investigation and how far it's going to go. I would consider um, appropriate for the police to seize his electronic devices all these electronic devices and do an investigation. Even if he's destroyed them, they can still track it. They can still track the phone um, via the Instagram uh, platform itself because he would have logged in and the IP that he logged in will be located and will be pinpointed, can be pinpointed to that address. So, you know, I would imagine, I would hope that the, the mob have took this seriously, are taking this seriously and looking at it. Because you don't, we don't know who's connected with who else is into this, if anyone. Because remember, we all live in a post Jimmy Savile world now. We remember how Jimmy Savile used his celebrity to um, groom children. So let's wait and see how that goes. 
we'll keep an eye on it. All right, you like the content, hit the like button, share and subscribe, because that's all I've got to say about that for now. How dare you?